Hi, my name is Gala. I'm Looker Studio expert and the founder of Kaylee Records. And today I would like to talk about array formulas. What's the big difference between a regular formula and array formula? Our normal formula applies for one cell. For example, we have the lookup formula and we wrote it in this cell. It applies only for one cell. Ah, it's fine. For example, yeah, remove this one. If we can just duplicate this formula, it's fine if you have stable data range, if you have stable table. But if you use, uh, like I use my tables for Looker Studio and I use some APIs that updates my data daily basis, and next day we can have a new row name with some regular data. And here we don't have formula and we don't have our order status. For these cases, I really like to use array formula. Let's check how does it work. Um, we can just start to type array formula before our main formula and that happens nothing. Why? Because in our main formula, I use exact cell A4. I should change it to data range. For example, I want to change it to column A from A4 till whatever, how many rows do we have? And if I click this, I already see that my formula is replicated for the whole tab. This is already great, but I will have no data here. And if I connect this table to Looker Studio, I will have some errors because here, like, if I work with database, I should avoid errors. So how I do it usually, I type if a for a is empty, it means empty. Already much better. So for rows where we don't have rows in our table, I already have nothing. Uh, but anyway, we have some issues uh, for our status. And here I can type if error formula. And change it for blank. Already nice? Do you like it? Hope so. If you like how I present information, I recommend you to check my online course that you can find on Udemy, or you can find the link below this video. Also, you can buy my template on my online store. And just Subscribe for my YouTube channel and have your Google Sheets and Looker Studio tips weekly basis. Bye.